Hey everybody, this is Dennis Johnson from Red Sage Photo Photography plus Videography. I just want to say hello to you all and I have a workshops moment. Uh, I've been looking into getting a new camera and going from A to B to Z and like all things it comes down to budget. And again, I, I stated this before that um, money is kind of like scarce. Not because I'm not working hard because I just can't get enough clients, but that's the reality of things, you know, where you at, well, how hungry you are. And again, um, of course, trying times now with COVID and all this other stuff going on. So you don't want to get around too many people. You have outports like um, uh, photo uh, hubs that, you know, you take photos and you download to a hub. And if, some, if a client likes what you want from a well, big industry, likes what you want, you know, you get paid a little something, you know, from uh, downloading your photos or videos. that That's another way of getting money too in the photography and videography world too as a, uh, as a uh, you know, entrepreneur, you know, just a, a free uh, agent or a contractor in, that, in those terminologies. But overall, I am just introducing myself because I am out there, I am in meeting new people, I am, I am just so happy to meet people. <laughs> who are, would like to be seen, and like to express the art. Like I always say, you know, there's gonna be people up all the time. They always say like, you, you wanna see his art. But that's the fun thing about it. You get to see people at their best and at their worst and, and see them strive for their dreams, being behind the lens in every aspect. And it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing to be a witness and capture it in every aspect. But uh, I just wanna tell you the workshop for the day. Let's get back on topic. Workshop for today, the workshops for today, this one particular workshop is basically, I, talk, I, I put something out early about taking, retaking still photos. Uh, like someone has old photos and you're, they pull them out the closet or out the box and they got a bow to it, it's like a bow. So I was uh, telling people to put a, you know, a nice size, enough weight on it to flex it out. Now I wanted to, go pinpoint back on that subject because again sometimes those old black and white photos old kodak photos don't want to bend or take shape back again because the way they were uh stored that's okay so with the apps on so on the apps on smartphones you know is is boom it's beautiful it's it's no excuse i mean technology is beautiful but if you're like me and you like to see your photos look a certain way, I use a DSL camera, I use the Canon. I'm not giving, I'm not giving um, proceeds or trying to hype Canon to back me. That's not it. I'm just average Joe who likes using their camera because that was the first camera I got introduced to as an adult. Uh, I like Kodak cameras, but that was a long time ago. But anyway, um, taking the old photo and restoring it to its shape. And then I want to do a part two, basically dealing with the coloring, because a lot of photos fade, store, you know, they start to degrade, you know. But again, like I mentioned earlier, these certain different apps these days are rebuilt, will basically capture and bring life back to your photo. That's beautiful. But again, you know, you want to do it hands-on. You want to uh, take the time. And you want to hold on to those old photos. So I just want to let you know that with care and basically applying pressure like a book with not that much weight, if you do want to restore your picture, put something on top of it, make sure you have a cotton cloth or like an old t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt, and just face it face down. Take a sheet of white paper, you know, just take a regular sheet of white paper on the back of it, not the face of the photo, and put it on the back and apply something with not that much weight on it. So you can uh, bring shape back to it. Give it a couple of days, depending on your process or how, you know, you, it's, it's one of these things like self hobbies. But uh, if you need something heavier, do not overstack the photos. Uh, you take four photos, for, for, uh, pics and pictures and put them, don't do that. But it's a process, depending on how fast you need it done. Um, I would do a part two to this. Uh, just for, um, you know, TMI. Some people think it's not important, but it's a process. 
And if you like, like me, I like processes. I like learning through the process of um, keep myself busy because it's trying times you want to keep yourself busy. You know, so if you like tedious things like that, um, that's what I do, um, especially re, uh, taking reshooting old photos, especially family photos, because they're very cherished and they're very precious to people. And you want to basically um, uh, keep the old photos and repack them. And we'll talk about that later on. If you have any comments, just hit me up. Follow me on my webpage, uh, Red Sage Photo Photography videography.com and again thank you for listening to my nonsense and hope you enjoy yourselves peace